Foreign ministers from the Arab League states are calling for more cooperation within the organization. This comes as the region's top diplomats gathered in Cairo for a regular meeting. The Arab League wants to establish intra-regional platforms between developing nations to assist one another in facing global crises. Cairo's meeting also announced that the first African-Arab summit will take place in Saudi Arabia this November. He's Adel Mahri with more. The League of Arab States held its 160th foreign ministers meeting in Cairo on Wednesday. The biennial regular meeting saw Palestine top the agenda as the head of the UN's Palestinian Refugee Agency joined the talks in the Egyptian capital. Filippi Lazzarini said the refugee situation in the region remains a major concern. Since last I addressed the council in March, the situation for millions of Palestinian refugees in the region has further deteriorated. The Israeli military operation in the Jenin camp and the armed clashes in Ainan Elway camp are just two of several worrying developments. Palestinian refugees in Syria are recovering from the devastating earthquake without adequate support. Lazzarini warned the Arab world's top diplomats that the United Nations Works and Relief Agency for Palestinian Refugees was sinking in a financial crisis. Necessities needed to support Palestinians are growing, while the annual fund for the agency is shrinking. The Commissioner General says that the gap between the available resources and the demand on services is now too wide to be contained without resorting to raising funds from the international community. Palestine is not the only crisis that needs Arab collaboration. Major global issues like the Russian-Ukrainian conflict have compromised food security, adding tensions in a region which is already simmering. The continuous war in Ukraine, which has continued now for 19 months, represents the frightful return of conflicts between world powers. These developments indicate that we must enrich cooperation with all sides and coordinate between nations that want to maintain their strategic independence. In that regard, I would like to give an example of the Arab-Chinese summit, which the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia hosted last December. The Kingdom of Morocco, the current president of the Arab League Council, proposed a regional plan to boost collaboration between member states. It called for setting aside political disputes between Arab nations and focus on joint economic development until such political issues get resolved. The foreign minister's meeting ended with an announcement to create the Arab Cyber Security Council as well as establishing two new committees tasked with boosting ties with Turkey and Iran. Adil Mahroui. CGTN, Cairo.